On today's episode, we're going to be showcasing how I broke into the top 250 mythic players by torturing a jellyfish. I'm in unimaginable pain. So here we got the deck list. It is a historic best of one deck list focusing on Orcish Bowmasters plus Flump combo. I'm not going to go in depth right now, but I am coming out with a new video soon that will go more in depth in all the pieces of the deck and how to play optimally. But for now, let's just go over the combo that is most important, and that is the Flump plus Orcish Bowmasters. So the idea is you play the Flump, you play the Bowmasters, you target the Flump with the Bowmasters, dealing one damage, drawing you both a card. It's going to trigger the Bowmaster again, and you just keep doing that as you both draw through the whole deck. And now you may be asking yourself, okay, well, aren't you just going to deck yourself because you're drawing with your opponent each time? Well, that's where the 63 card deck comes in because with a 63 card deck, it's pretty much just saying, yeah, we're both gonna draw our whole decks, but you're gonna run out first. And so that's the key combo behind the deck. Let's just get right into the game that got me to 250 and I can show you exactly what I mean. See you at the end of the video. Bye. Okay, so right off the bat, we are on the draw and we mulligan down to five. Keeping a very awkward hand. You will, however, notice that there are, there's a card in our hand, Sheltering Light, which I didn't go over at the beginning of the video, and that's because um, I've updated the deck since then. Um, we're going to go ahead and reprieve his Inspiring Knight, turn two, get the tempo play. Comes in swings for one. So this is, um, you know, it's a bit of a sketchy start for sure. We play the Wish Claw, which means we essentially have two pieces of the puzzle, because now we can Wish Claw for whatever we need, but... Um, definitely moving slower and finding that last piece is going to be key for winning this game. He swings in for four. We're already at 12. Play a planes. Go up and search. I'm going to grab the flump. Um, use it as a blocker here. Because we can't afford to take too much damage. Yes, we're going to let him search his deck, but this is where I love Wishclaw Talisman. Because worst case scenario, right, they do use it and you get another search. So now we're gonna get a second search, which essentially means we're actually at three pieces of the puzzle. Here he's gonna Ember Cleave, most likely what he searched up. Um, and that's gonna let him kill the Flump, so I actually intervene, give my Flump Indestructible on the defense, draw two cards, go down to eight. Honestly, things are looking not too bad. We get a search here for the Bowmasters. And it's at this moment, I believe, where I go and I check the deck size. And I don't know if you saw that, but he's got 86 cards in his deck for some reason, which means doing this the normal way isn't going to work. So I think the game plan I had here was screw it. I can't mill him out because, you know, he's got 86 cards in his deck for absolutely no reason. Um, we'll go ahead and just make. Yeah, we'll just fast forward here. We'll go ahead and just make a big old orc army that hopefully he can't deal with. Realistically, at this point, uh, hindsight's 2020. I should absolutely have waited for his turn to do this because what I've done is I essentially just gave him a full hand to deal with my board. Now, this guy is 91% mythic, which kind of feels like trolling. And he just plays Crather's Crusade and the Knight. So. Yeah, I don't ask me what he's doing here, I'll be honest. Uh, and that just means we can play the Lauren's Escape, Unearth, Bowmaster, I believe. Yep. And then on top of that, we actually have a third Bowmaster, so we take full control here. And this is a little tricky thing you can do. So when you do have less cards in your deck, if you actually get more than one Bowmaster out, you can just be using one of those Bowmasters to hit the Flump, and the other one will be hitting their face. So we've got three in rotation here. So it gets a little... Yeah, okay, we're going to start killing off blockers, just trying to get that 27-27 through. But yeah, it's... I don't... I... I don't think he's got a way out of this one. This gets a little crazy. Yep, so we're going to hit the flump once each time. Um, and that's going to trigger three of our Bowmasters. 
Always making sure that one is hitting flump and the other is hitting the blockers. And you can see this deck can be it it the the most simple form of the combo is just flump bowmasters make it indestructible go through your whole deck. But there are definitely ways around dealing with things like people milling you out. Um, you can use this tactic to make sure that you're hitting uh, if you know, they have more cards in their deck for some unknown reason. You can use this tactic to make their deck go down. And um, there we go. That's victory. Mythic, top 250. That was a really quick game. So you know what we're going to do. Time for a bonus game, baby. Yep, nab that right from the brewer's kitchen. Appreciate that, dude. Okay, so this one is much better hand. We only mill down once, but we get the Flump and Bowmasters. There's the second Bowmasters after we just threw away the the, se the original seconds. Now we have, we've seen three. We got two in our hand. And we just decide to play Flump. Instantly we realize that they're just double blue. Two islands is a sign they're going to be playing a lot of counter spells. Um, oh, there's the last piece of the combo. So we decide to just go for it here. Yep. Essence capture. <laughs> when you see an essence capture, you know they're playing every single counter spell that they can find. Um, so instantly here, I'm like, okay, I guess I don't know what to do. The trick here, hold up the mana. Always hold the mana and see he instantly makes a mistake. Yep, he spent all his mana and that's the beauty of this combo is that it's so instant speed. Once Flump is on the battlefield, I mean, you can just play this over removal, over anything they do. If they ever spend all their mana, you can be there to end the game. Yeah, we'll just fast forward this part. Um, but that's GG's. Bang. All right, there we have it. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. This has taken me a ton of effort. I'm very, very new to editing. As you can tell, it took me a while because I've changed outfits three times throughout this video. I'm going to be trying to release one a week. Um, and that's all I got. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any other questions about Flump, hit up the stream. I'll be there answering any questions. Bye.